This is the Ryder and Lisa Replay. Brought to you by Southtown Hyundai. Check out the Southtown Hyundai Advantage at southtownhyundai.ca. Complaint Corner. Um, I'd like to go first, if you don't mind. Of course. I hate how there's such a small timeline to eat an avocado. Yeah. It can go from being really firm to the next day being like, no, you need to eat me now. Well, especially when you buy like a bag of six and they all are on the same schedule. Well, in that case, if you're buying the bag, like I hope you're making guacamole, but I also hope you're making it on the proper day. Like I get stressed out. I'm like, okay, Mm. my avocado's ready. What can I put it on? Do I have to just eat it alone? Because that's boring. I like to either like make some avocado toast, throw it in a taco. Um, I wish they would come out with bags that there's like one day and this this one's ready, three days and this one will be ready, and six days and this one will be ready. And then you can like plan accordingly. Mm-hmm. But no, it's all the same. I never understand how restaurants always have perfect avocados in their salads and stuff. Like that always fascinates me. Yeah, do they have like a, a scheduling system in the back where they have all the ones that they can use that day lined up? We never learned about avocados and how to know when they're ripe. Like you got to mm-hmm. do the research online to figure that stuff out. Yeah. It's a process. All right. We'll put it on the list. Uh, my complaint corner today is those clickbait ads. So the sponsored ads that say something like, ooh, wonder what th- that celebrity from the show from your childhood looks like now. And you're like, yes. When they have the one picture that you're like, oh, I actually would like to know what Winnie from Wonder Years looks like now. And so you click it and then you have to click Click. Ads. Click. More ads. Click. And it just rifles through, like, all of a sudden it's a hundred different clicks. What are those called? Do you know what I'm talking about? Where it's like, you don't just get to scroll. It's like a slideshow. Exactly. And, like, by the time I'm done... I don't care what Winnie looks like anymore, but I'm like overcommitted to it. This is why I love when people in the comment section are the real MVP and they'll just tell you yeah. what they found eventually. <laughs> they'll screenshot it and post sure. it in the comment section. They're like, don't waste your time clicking. Yeah, this is what Winnie looks like now. But yeah, they get me once in a while. And then when I realize that I'm a sucker for these things again, I'll go and I'll block any account that does it that pops up on mainly Twitter is where I see this. We're getting Man, frustrating. We're getting some texts of people complaining about things. This is good. This is a nice little therapy yell mm-hmm. session. Get, Get it, it out. out before the weekend. I'm going to keep this one anonymous for now just because it's about work. They wrote in saying my complaint is workers um, consistently not showing up for work, being late and messing up work sites, which causes me to do damage control every single day at my job. Okay, you sound tired. Mm-hmm. You need a massage. <laughs> Everybody needs a massage. Everybody right should now. go for a massage. Um, Ryan always trolling us on the text line. <sighs> I hate winter, is what he says. So much. <laughs> Super relevant. Ryan. Really relevant. Thanks for <laughs> thanks for chiming in. It's Ryder and Lisa. Your complaint corner was that avocados have such a small window. To be the perfect amount of ripe. Yeah, they stress me out. When I purchase more than one, I'm like, uh, all I think about all day, every day is like, oh, I wonder if I need to eat that avocado today. Mm -hmm. So I didn't realize how many of our listeners were certified millennials because they know (laughs) so much about avocado. The Avocado Alliance on the text line right now all given tips on how to keep them fresh. So apparently you leave them ripe or leave them until they get ripe, and then you put them in the fridge if you'd like them to last. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. And even Tip said, add avocado to your smoothies instead of yogurt. It will make them so much creamier. If it's a little underripe, you can cut it in half, take out the nut or whatever seed. Pit? Pit. (laughs) And then you can put them in a warming oven, and it'll ripen them really quickly. Interesting, right? Well, I also heard that if you squirt lemon juice on an opened avocado, it will keep it from turning brown. Or if you keep the nut in your guac. A pit, I believe it's called. Oh, right. Sorry. (laughs) Now you got me on the word nut. Play 107. So after discovering that everyone on the text line that's listening to the show today knows a lot about avocados, (laughs) we decided to stay with the cooking theme and the food theme and asked for your best kitchen tip. Yeah, Sab wrote in, first time texter, thank you for listening. Um, They said avocados in the fridge will take longer to ripe, but when you put your fruits in rice, it helps to ripen them faster. Mm. The moisture from the rice makes it ripe faster. Wait a minute, is the rice cooked? 
No, I, I need would to, say I, no. See, I need to know extra details here, okay? I can't be doing these kitchen hacks wrong. That's like that time your uh, phone got wet, and then so you put it in cooked rice. And I, was I like, did not don't put it think in that, cooked rice. Don't think that's going to work, Lise. But this does remind me about the time that I learned when I was very, very young. I think it might have been my grandma that told me when you put fruit beside bananas, that makes them ripen way faster. Mm. And it's specifically bananas. They have this like hydrocarbon gas in them or something that like makes everything ripen fast. Super interesting. Yeah, I love stuff like that. Um, Ryan wrote in saying, um, I've got two things. Use lots of butter on everything. I agree with that. I honestly think people that come off as really good cooks. Just use more butter. They just use so much yeah. butter. Because you sit down, you feed, they feed you and you're like, why is everything so good? Oh, it's smothered in butter. Yeah, if you watch any like steak tutorial, the amount of butter they use right at the end is insane. Ryan's second tip was to use food coloring to make things funky. <laughs> okay, thanks, Ryan. <laughs> Thank you so much. Cleaning as you go, it saves you so much time at the end. And it's just so much more enjoyable sitting down for a meal knowing the kitchen's at least like half clean. Yeah, there's, it's not a nightmare waiting for you. There's not garbage everywhere and food and scraps. Couldn't agree more. That was the best thing I learned about cooking was to clean as you go as well. It's just a complete game changer. Plus, when you're in there, you're busy anyway, so why not clean? Right. Thank you to my mom for yelling that at me for years. <laughs> awesome. Mom, mother knows best. Sure does. Jamie wrote in saying, back to avocados. <laughs> oh, man. Is that all our listeners eat? <laughs> um, no wonder there's a shortage. <laughs> Jamie says, cut it in half, crack an egg inside of it. You might have to scoop out a little bit and then bake it. Mm, that sounds good. That I'm sounds hungry. so good. Okay, um, I have a couple tips for the kitchen, and they're both about knives. They sound like inspirational words of wisdom that you could get, like, tattooed on you or, or framed and put on the wall. But one is... A falling knife has no handle. I don't get it. So don't reach for a falling knife and try to catch it. You'll hurt yourself. Oh. And the other is a dull knife is more dangerous than a sharp one. How? Well, it's just you start pushing harder. Mm. There's more chance of it slipping. So make sure your knives are sharpened. Ryder and Lisa. Hell. Hey, some, something. Good. Boudoir and Photography. Be your beautiful self and discover the art of boudoir at GabriellaCruz.ca. When? CKPW. Edmonton's number one for throwbacks and home of Ryder and Lisa. This, 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 this is Play 107. I just had a heart attack. That scared the living crap out of me too. Sorry, the auto button uh, uh, was on. It'll get you. <laughs> yeah. When's the last time you heard about Mike Posner? Uh, he was, like, running across the states last year. That was back in 2019, which also we still say last, last year was 2019 year. because sure. we lost a year. Um, if you can't remember who Mike Posner is, he sings, You think you're cooler than me, or whatever. He just reached Mount Everest Summit. It took him 50 days. Wow. He was with it looks to be, like, four other people. And the reason that they were doing it was to raise money for the Detroit Justice Center. So far, they've raised $230,000. And like you said, this isn't his first physical challenge. In 2019, he did a six-month walk yeah. from New Jersey to California and back again. Incredible. He just seems like such a beauty. Good for him. I love that you went with Cooler Than Me. What's his other song? Well, I took a pill and Ibiza was, without question, his biggest song ever. Okay, sorry I'm not as big of a Mike Posner no. fan as you. <laughs> it's just Cooler Than Me was like way down on the list. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... My bad. <laughs> Tell me something good. I like that you did a deep cut. Whatever. I, I you think you're it. cooler than me because you know more about <laughs> Mike Posner. I'm actually shocked that you knew that he did that walk, too. See? Do you have a poster of him? A Posner poster? Yeah. <laughs> I call it my, my Mike Poster. <laughs> All right, uh, my story is about uh, a graduate. Just like to take a minute to congratulate Pat Moore on getting his high school graduation. What? Oh, he's 93. <gasps> Tell me something good. A little flirting tutorial as things start to open up and maybe your opportunity to find love. I do think all of us are rusty, mm -hmm. even with just um, socializing in general. But when it comes to flirting, are you going to know what you're doing out there? Are you going to be good at it? Is it actually going to be easier than ever? I think so. 
Everyone's just yeah. craving some sort of attention. <laughs> like I true, honestly actually. think I honestly think it's going to be like an uncomfortable amount of time that people are making eye contact. This text says if I look at you and I smile, it means I want your phone number, so bring it to me. <laughs> what? I was like, all right, that's a pretty blunt way to look at it. What if you actually approached someone and said that to them and you were that blunt? Like, that's kind of awesome. Like, if you're like, hi, I noticed you smiling at me. I noticed that you were looking in my direction and smiling. Do you want to go out sometime? Eh, I think you can do better than that's that. That's cute. I'd say I'd go up and be like, um, excuse me, you have something in your teeth. Why do you always have to go with the, what, what is it called? Nag hit. The nag hits. No, you don't have to. This text says, be yourself and please don't use a cheesy pickup line. Start with a joke or simply Ugh. ask it's how so the, my week's been. Hmm. When it's something that you can tell has been worked on a lot, like they've been practicing it in the mirror. It, it wasn't a natural sentence that came out. It was scripted almost. It's like, come on. What if they're endearing? No. Like, I, I'm the the act of approaching someone you're interested in that you don't know and trying to run some sort of game <laughs> on them is so intimidating for most. Like, I, I wish that it wasn't so judgmental, that whole arena. I do think that all of us need to be a bit more forgiving because everybody is going to be acting a bit more awkward than usual, including people like myself, who I'm usually very outgoing. Like I even ran into a listener yesterday after going on a walk and my whole body language was awkward because I don't talk to people. Mm -hmm. I haven't talked to strangers in a year. So I don't even know what I was doing with my hands, my feet. I was like swaying side to side. What if we implemented some sort of rule where if you give somebody a thumbs up and they give you a thumbs up back... It's go time. Let's Simple as that. This. <laughs> if one of you puts a thumbs down, <laughs> sorry, it's going to hurt your feelings, but not interested. Alex said, listen to them. People love to talk about themselves if you let them. Ask a question specific to what they're talking about. It's basic but highly effective. Okay, that's so crazy that you say that, Alex. I just watched a TikTok video from a woman that's a professional when it comes to communicating with others. You know that awkward part where you don't know what to say next when you're mingling with people and there's this like awkward pause? Mm -hmm. Always circle back to something you were already talking about. Like, ask another question about that. Then it's a natural flow the whole time. Mm, when you run out of things step. to like, okay, what should we talk about next? Just go right back to, yeah, and, and go back to that topic. Mm. You're golden. Ask the exact same question no, that you asked previously. Not the exact same <laughs> question. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'd like to be told how badly you want to kiss me is one of the texts that we got. That's a bit forward. <laughs> Imagine yeah. if somebody walked up to you, hey, I just wanted to let you know <laughs> that this whole time that I've been looking at you, even though we've never met, I desperately want to kiss you. I really want to touch your lips. How do you get free stuff or great deals on things? Yeah, it's funny that you're talking about this because today's National Donut Day. Mm -hmm. And apparently, if you have the Tim Hortons app, they'll give you a free donut when you purchase a beverage. Really? Today only. Okay. See, following... Stuff like that, you can get a lot of free stuff. A lot of companies are offering it. I wish I was better at following like grocery stores flyers. Yeah. Because some people are so good at saving money and I'm lazy and just not on top of things. I watched an extreme couponer oh, in front of me at the grocery store and she did it so well that the grocery store owed her money. No. She owed like minus 73 cents. Obviously, they didn't give her money. But everything that she had got, it worked out so well that it was a free grocery trip for her. Is that not insane? But it's a thing. It's a thing. Okay, here's my little tip. Can't believe I'm sharing this. It's been a lifelong secret of mine. <laughs> I call it the are those even hack. So let's start with an example when you're in school. Let's say a kid has a, a sour candy and you want to get your hands on one of them. You say, are those things even sour? You'll 100% get yourself a sour candy. But in adult life, it works too. Somebody has a new Frappuccino flavor and you're like, are those things even good? The least you'll get is a free sip. But usually they'll be like, I'll get you one next time. It's ridiculous how or, well it works. I feel like you'd have to do a bit of a waiting game. Like you, you put it in their ear. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And then like maybe <laughs> next week they'll show up with something yeah, for you. Honestly, just <laughs> are those even? Somebody's having wings, hot wings. Are those things even hot? They'll give you a wing and no. it's so much cooler than being like, can I have a wing, right. please?
Yeah. So you've been doing this for how long? Oh, years, years. It's so subtle. Yeah. Are those even, it just works every time. I wonder how much free stuff you've gotten over the years <laughs> just by using that sentence. Thank you for sharing that with us. You're welcome. Um, We have so many funny listeners. Autumn wrote in saying, just say it's your birthday all the time. It's crazy how many people don't ask for your ID at places. But how awkward when they do. (laughs) Right? (laughs) Okay, Aaron wrote in saying, I just tell people I'm Lisa Evans' dad. (laughs) My dad tries to get free things all the time by dropping my name. It's so embarrassing. Yeah. But it works sometimes for him. He got free golf once. I was like, dad. I went golfing with him, yes. And... I come out and I'm like, hey, they recognize me and they let me they let me golf for free. And he's like, what? I want in on that. <laughs> and he goes rolling in and comes back out like three minutes later. And he's like, yep, worked. I just told him I was your dad. Unbelievable. Crazy. <laughs> okay. Uh, this um, text says go to a college campus, the U of A campus, for example. And get what? There's people handing out free things all the time. Like what? A free pencil? Well, I don't know. if, But yeah, like. What are people handing out at university? I never went to university. CDs. Tell me everything. T-shirts. Really? Posters, maybe. I, yeah, I don't know. Well, you don't need that stuff. It's well, just junk. Okay. It's just going to it's it's just 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 stay in the trunk of your car. Still free stuff. Yeah, you're right. Okay, we are talking about things you get for free. Haley says, I got something for everyone listening right now. You buy a product, and then you email the company. You either complain about it. Or you praise it. They end up sending you either money, a gift card, a check. She got a check in the mail once because she complained about the new cat litter she got that she actually did hate. And she got a check in the mail for $23 US. So that's like $700 Canadian. Amazing. Well, I go to the bakery department all the time and ask if they have any broken cookies. <laughs> <laughs> so the Sky Palace is in the news. Because uh, Jason Kenney and some of his cabinet ministers were there, and a lot of people were arguing that they shouldn't have been. Uh, This isn't available to the public, but imagine if it was. The Sky Palace is now open. Don't worry. The very expensive experience will be entirely paid for by tax dollars. Sky Palace. Palace. Do you you want to ignore public health requirements and get sloshed with your coworkers? Sky Palace. Do you want the best views of the city if you don't mind an old white dude sitting in front of you and slightly blocking it? Sky Palace. It's like a mullet with a perfect mix of business and party. White tablecloths scream we're ready to make some life-changing decisions for Albertans. But the half-full 60 of Jameson screams we're ready to tear into one and pee off the roof of this place onto the commoners down on the street. Sky Palace. No need to hire a photographer as the nosy neighbors will take plenty of pictures of you. Sky Palace. Come for the bureaucracy. Stay for the COVID. Sky Sky Palace. Palace. Now open. Reserve your table at skypalace.ab.ca. Dot gov. Dot government. Lighter <laughs> and Lisa. Brought to you by Southtown Hyundai. Play 107.